What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Almighty Maxim. Today, I said a crazy K flock story, man. If you're new, drop a like, subscribe, roll to 1K. So, I'll straight into the video, man. Now, the K flock story. We definitely got to talk about this one. Some of y'all might recognize the name K flock, a young rapper who's been on up and up. He's been making some waves this last year. The other day, K flock got arrested for murder, though. This news has been going kind of crazy in the headlines, and uh, I have a couple things to say about it, so yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, K Flock, like I said, some people might recognize the name. K Flock is an 18 year old rapper out of the Bronx who's been rising very quickly, especially these last couple months. He has a couple records that have been going kind of crazy. A lot of them have racked up millions and millions of views on his platform we call YouTube. K Flock actually got signed to a major label earlier this year, specifically in July. He signed a Capitol Records, and uh, he's honestly been on the verge of popping off big time. I found out about him a couple months back, and from the way his entire movement was looking, and he was about to do some great things in the music world. With this recent news that just broke though, I'm not sure about that anymore. Like I said at the beginning of the video, K Flock just got arrested for murder. This story is going pretty crazy on social media at the moment. There's a couple interesting things about it, but let's not get ahead of ourselves and uh, let's talk about it. So the story is this, Kevin Perez, professionally known as k Flock, was taken into custody Thursday on November 23rd. This arrest stems from something that happened about a week ago on the 16th of December. k Flock was allegedly visiting a barbershop on Amsterdam Avenue in New York right before 10 a.m. on the 16th when according to the police, k Flock opened the door to the barbershop and uh, asked another man who was there what he was looking at. The man who went by the name of Oscar Hernandez then walked outside the barbershop to confront k Flock. That that then led to some kind of argument. According to the police, K Flock then allegedly pulled out a gun and uh, shot Oscar Hernandez in the neck and in the back. Oscar was then taken to a hospital nearby where he was unfortunately pronounced dead. Shortly after this, K Flock became a wanted man for murder. There was officially a warrant for his arrest. On December 16, 2021, at approximately 9.53 a.m., the above pictured individual, also known as K Flock, did discharge a 9mm firearm at the victim, causing the victim's demise in front of 1836 Amsterdam Avenue, New York, in the confines of the 30th precinct, the police say. So, like you heard, this homicide allegedly went down right next to a police station. That's according to the police. Continuing, the above picture. That's even worse, that he killed the nigga right next to a precinct, bro. Like, I don't cops, some niggas don't go fuck about life, bro. That's the scary part about life, bro. That niggas, like, if, it don't matter if this is K-Flock or not. If K-Flock is a shooting or not, whoever killed that guy, does not care about life, bro. He killed one, he killed the nigga in broad day. Like two, he's the one who started the problem by saying, Yo, what are you looking at? type shit. So the nigga was looking for problems. Like he was just, he was just looking to kill a nigga that day. And three, he did it by a precinct. So it's like he ain't give a fuck. And that's the scary part, bro. That's why you know what I mean you gotta be careful who you who you like confront nowadays. Cause like everybody got guns, bro. Feel me? And even if you got a gun, they ain't stop making guns when, when they made your gun, bro. Like everybody got a gun. So be safe out there. Don't be starting problems with niggas. Yeah, bro. Shirt perpetrator has previous gun charges and should be considered armed and dangerous. The perpetrator is a known third side gang member, the police said. After this, the police released this photo right here, which is supposed to be K Flock. If you're looking at the screen, then you can clearly see that his face is invisible on here, but the rest of the body is. He got a little Montclair jacket on, and I think that right there is, uh, is, is that Amiri pants? I wouldn't. They got the bread one suit, bro. This nigga. The designer demon, man, I guess, on the loose. That's what the cops should have said. We have a designer demon. Oh, wait, what I don't know. How the fuck did they know that was K-Flock? He had a whole mask on. Like, is that racist, bro? Is that, like, they just assume that's K-Flock, bro. Is that, like, the cops, like, targeting him? How the fuck would they know that's him off of that? No, because I don't I don't buy designer, but anyway. After this video was released by the cops, K Flock was then arrested by the police. They then put up this tweet after his arrest saying update as a result of the outstanding work by your 30th precinct detectives, along with the support of many other investigators and some of our law enforcement partners, the individual responsible for this crime is now in custody. So K Flock is in police custody at the moment and uh it's not looking good for him. With that being said, there are a couple things that don't really match up with what the police said. As an example, this footage right here. The security footage was actually released today and the person who the police claim is K-Flock never went into the barbershop. So the initial report about how he walked into the barbershop, that might actually not be accurate judging from this video. In this security footage, what looks like to be the victim, Oscar Hernandez, is actually seen walking towards K-Flock. So he opens the door and confronts him. If this is how it went down, that changes a lot of things for K-Flock. 
Tavelock. In that case, maybe he gets let off the hook for murder and catches a manslaughter charge instead. I wanna say his lawyer could possibly argue for self-defense, but anyone who's out there in New York, you guys will confirm this. The gun laws in New York are pretty damn strict. So if he And there's no self-defense law in New York either. Like, it's not Florida, bro. You can't just be killing niggas out here. I'm not a cop. Like, yeah. And and like you said, the gun laws, too, you're not even supposed to have a gun. Keep it G. Especially him. He's a felon. He's in a gang. He's not even 21. Like, even if you are 21 and, like, a clean-ass citizen, it's hard as fuck to get a gun, bro. So it's like, yeah. Hopefully, though, they don't put that nigga... If they do... They, he might... He, I don't want the nigga to go to jail, bro, because I fuck with his music. And it's sad, bro. You feel me? Like, the nigga's a young Dominican, feel me? I'm a young Dominican, feel me? I want to see young Dominicans succeed, especially niggas from New York. Like, I want to see niggas come up and get the fuck out the hood and, you know, get lit, bro. And it just sucks that he's in this predicament. But... From what it looks like, it like the dude initiated violence with him. So, if they can get like a, you know what I mean? If they can just lower his sentence to like five years, I mean, he might fall off. Though. I don't know. He, he might have a Bobby murder. He used it to take down Oscar Hernandez. Regardless of if it was self-defense, that's not going to fly in New York. He's just not going to be let off the hook completely, even if that's what happened. This security footage definitely changes my perception of this entire situation. Because if K-Flock wasn't the instigator of this particular incident, could have he just been protecting himself? Maybe some more security footage is going to come out and that's going to paint a completely different picture of the situation. But what I'm wondering is why would the police say that he went into the barbershop and asked Oscar what you're looking at when judging from this footage that we're seeing he's not even seen walking in and also the initial report slash story seems a little bit too reckless I mean you're about to get a fresh cut in the AM you walk into a barbershop on some hostile vibes as soon as you walk in you check one of the customers for looking at you you go outside the customer follows you both of you argue and then you pop him again it seems a little bit too reckless I digress though the situation at hand for K-Flock is what it is he's been accused of murdering 24 year old Oscar Hernandez outside of that barbershop on Amsterdam Avenue in New York. At this point, I don't think the question is, was the person on a photo really K Flock? Personally, I think that is K Flock for a couple reasons. Number one, witnesses. You can't avoid witnesses in a situation like this, especially since it was broad daylight. Number two, security footage. They probably traced him from the barbershop to his home, etc., before they picked him up. Number three, he had a cell phone in his hands. So they most likely did the cell phone ping in order to determine his location at the time of the crime the question as far as i can see right now is if he did it why did he do it like i said earlier if k flack wasn't the instigator and if he maybe was simply protecting himself then a murder charge is most likely out of the picture if that's what happened if k flack did it since it's new york he's not gonna walk scot-free that is close to impossible he's most likely gonna get some kind of manslaughter charge maybe gun charge on top of that i don't know all i know is that it's a very bad situation he's in this is a developing story though keep that in mind so obviously there's a lot we still don't know the situation for k flack right now is he's in custody accused of murder what happens for k flack from here well i guess only time will tell but yeah the k flack story any thoughts on this pretty crazy story hey man that's crazy i feel like if he gets locked up for anything more than two years he falls off i'm on cop so i feel like that's, well, that's the cutoff for rappers if you get locked up for like only nigga that didn't fall off I mean, there's a couple i don't know i mean i don't know all of them but from what I see, like, Gucci Mane came back after a couple years, and he, he was still good. Kodak came back after, what, like, three years? And he was valid. But other than that, what, Bobby Smurda, that nigga, niggas don't, I mean, he didn't drop a song, though, so I don't know. And then nigga came back twerking and shit, so I don't know what's up with him, but I don't know. I feel like the cutoff for him would be, like, two years, because he hasn't established himself yet. Like, he only got a couple bangers, you feel me? So, anyway, hopefully... Everything is resolved, man. If you enjoyed this, man, drop a like, subscribe. Roll to 1,000 subscribers. We've been stuck at 365 for the longest. I'm trying to get to 1K. It's your boy, Mighty Max, and uh, I'm out.